Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my channel. I am Mahmoud and I am British 463 and Avro RJ series pilot. In this video, I am going to talk to you about uh, SIP approach sequences and uh, procedures on British 463 with following the real aircraft flight crew operating manual FCOM, normal procedure and handling and also fly deck handbook which uh, in the cockpit and uh, on uh, electronic flight back is available with the name of fdh as well as aircraft manual afm limitations so uh, also on this video i try to have a full brief about some definition which the importance one is a steep approach definition and have a look on British 463 equipments to fly a steep approach. So we are in London City Airport and British 463 is waiting for us at uh, the airport for a steep approach, a briefing and a review. Okay. Uh, at the first stage, we should uh, have a look about the general definition of a steep approach, which according to aviation documents, uh, the approach with the angle more than 4.5 or 4.5 degrees, it will call the steep approach. But there is a note in ICO uh, definitions that uh, approaches with the angle more than three and half or 3.5 degrees, they will call a steep approach two. Uh, also uh, in PANS operation or a document 8168 volume two for the uh, aircraft category A and B, Alpha and Bravo, uh, the SIP approach uh, descent gradient is maximum 6.5 percent not degrees and for the for the aircrafts with uh, category of Charlie Delta Echo CD and E the 6.1 percent uh, maximum descent uh, gradient observed for a steep approach uh, but actually there is a, a question that when or where the steep approach considered for a runway uh, is it uh, needed for all runway to proceed for a steep approach or design a steep approach uh, procedure for all runways absolutely not uh, after full study uh, by appropriate state authority will consider uh, this SIP approach for a runway uh, but uh, there is a lot of consideration and criteria shall be observed for uh, uh, you know uh, make approach a steep approach procedure the third one, the, the, the three uh, importance uh, one is the first, if there is a significant operational needed for the runway for, uh, according to a steep approach. At the second stage and uh, second part for obstacle clearance purpose, not uh, as a means of, uh, for example, introduce uh, the noise abandonment procedure or other factor just for obstacle clearance purpose uh, they will design a steep approach a procedure and also at the third stage if it is not possible to provide a vertical guidance for a runway as a normal uh, approach uh, design uh, gradient and also descent angle more and more uh, other factors and consideration will observed which because of limitation of time we ignore those uh, to brief at this stage okay we are going to uh, some uh, definition and limitation of british aerospace aircrafts uh, and according to fcoms F fth and also uh, aircraft flight manual uh, that uh, 
is available according to real operation and also aircraft documentation in real world aviation. Uh, there is uh, some uh, limitation for uh, some uh, types of uh, and all uh, types of uh, British aerospace aircraft. For example, uh, in the SCP approach, uh, the angle for the approach is different between uh, British 146, 100, and 200 uh, in uh, compare with uh, British 146-300 and this is step uh, we are going to have a study about the SIP approach limitation uh, by uh, British Aerospace 146 uh, for the aircraft that uh, can follow the SIP approach procedure uh, the first uh, step is that SIP approach are only permitted if a SIP approach monitor system is fitted on the aircraft. It means, uh, for example, on this aircraft uh, that you can see, uh, the SIP approach uh, function is available and also a SIP approach monitoring system is available that you can see here with the uh, engagement and the arm button here with the selection of a SIP approach in white and then when we will uh, be, will be active, and activated during approach in the uh, illumination of a green light and the a lower part of the switch. Uh, it showed that the SIP approach monitoring uh, system is fitted on this aircraft and uh, also uh, the approach angle must be between 4.5 degrees and 6 degrees. For the British 146-100 200 and also the angle between 4.5 degrees and 5.5, not 6 degrees, for the British 146-300. Landing with the tailwind component of British 146-300 is not permitted, but in the other uh, types as well as uh, dash 100 and 200, the 5 knot, tailwind is permitted for the approach. Uh, for the non-precision approach, a visual precision approach pass guidance or PAPI lights relative to the SIP approach angle must be used for the final visual segment of the approach. It means you are not allowed to follow the uh, SIP approach procedure uh, from your uh, when you are uh, far from the a runway and uh, also when uh, you are uh, in the final uh, segment of visual approach you can follow the uh, papi lights or precision approach uh, pass indicator relative to the steep approach angle uh, for the autopilot coupled ILS approaches a visual precision approach pass guidance or papi uh, appropriate to the steep approach angle must be used. There is an important note that uh, the decision height must not be less than 200 feet uh, above aerodrome reference threshold elevation or the OCH, obstacle clearance height, whichever is the greater. The autopilot may remaining may remain engaged down to 160 feet above Aerodrome reference threshold elevation provided it is coupled to an eyeless glider slope and localizer. Uh, the other important factor is the flap angle for the SIP approach and landing uh, must not must be uh, 33 degrees. It means uh, you are not allowed to follow the procedure. Uh, uh, in the lesser uh, flap setting as well as 24, 30, 18 and other uh, approach is the uh, aircraft flight manual permitted you for the all other approaches. Uh, steep approach shall be followed just with flap 33 in full configuration it means and also the air brake must be fully operative. At least three engine must be 
operative for the approach approach uh, steep approach procedure it means you are not allowed to follow the steep approach uh, when uh, you have the two engine alive on your aircraft steep approach system selection uh, is the uh, we have a switch uh, that uh, we talk about it uh, already uh, with the selection of uh, a pre, uh, steep approach on this uh, uh, it means in uh, this switch uh, when you select the steep approach switch it will become illuminate in a white uh, selection uh, and uh, also uh, it, this switch has a two uh, enunciator white and a green uh, the white steep approach enunciator indicate that the steep approach function is armed when the function become active this uh, white uh, illumination ch will change to the lower part in green that it means the function is activated and also the white switch will extinguish when the uh, green uh, light is uh, illuminated and activated uh, when the green steep approach uh, enunciator is illuminated the GPWS mode 1 which is um, excessive at this end rate uh, boundaries uh, are desensitized but uh, when the green uh, steep approach light will illuminate and it means the steep approach function will activate it we have in general three items that the steep approach function become active uh, once the following condition are all met uh, the flaps are selected to 33 the gear is down and locked and also the scott switches are in the flight condition it means when your uh, flap is other than 33 or uh, your uh, landing gear is not done lock and also uh, one of the Scott switches sense that uh, your aircraft is in ground mode at on the ground not airborne uh, the sleep approach function will not activate it if uh, the, any one of the uh, this condition uh, sees to be met the green enunciator will not illuminate also and uh, extinguish and also the white enunciator will illuminate and it means that the approach is the steep approach sorry is uh, armed and uh, also the EGPWS mode 1 uh, which uh, was the excessive descent rate uh, will return to their normal value